Hello babes, welcome or welcome back to Wedding Planning Wednesdays. In today's episode, we will be discussing all things invitation, all things personalization, just all things that make your wedding super, super luxurious without breaking the bank. So if you are interested, girl, grab your notebook, grab your iPad, grab your water, and keep watching. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. All right, so first things first, let's talk invitations. So when it came to invitations, I went to three places, Zazzle, Zola, and Minted. And I priced and also got samples from each of those the invitation suite that we wanted and made my decision based off of that. First things first, I'm gonna show you the ones that we did not choose. So the first place that we didn't choose was Zazzle. I really, really liked their invitations. I'll give you guys a close up in a sec, but I really, really liked their invitations. The only thing I didn't like about them was that I felt like they were a bit flimsy and I just wanted our invitations to be just a little bit thicker. I did choose the pearlescent paper, so that's probably why I I just thought with the price increase of the pearlescent paper that it would have been a little bit less flimsy. This feels more so like a like a cheap card. But they were by far the cheapest out of all to get my invitations. But I really did like them. Just didn't want to go with them for our invitations. They do have thicker papers, so don't let what I said be something that deters you away from getting Zazzle. I would say definitely get some samples sent to you before you actually go ahead and get all of your invitations from them. Another thing that I liked about Zazzle is that they also included or you could add on a digital version of your invitation. So if you have that cousin that doesn't keep invitations, that doesn't want any paper or anything like that, or if you're trying to be paper conscious, I think Zazzle would be a really, really good option because they did have the download. So basically all things that would be on this wedding invitation, you can just send it through text message or through group chat and send the invitations out like that. And I did kind of like that option too. Okay, so next I'm going to go with the most expensive and that was Minted. Girl, I really, really liked Minted their designs and their um, their suites. I felt like they had uh, so many to offer and just a lot of personalization when it came to your envelopes, the invitation, the color, the paper, everything. But girl, they were so expensive. That was pretty much the only reason why we didn't go with Minted. I feel like we just kind of, you know, for our gathering in Mexico, we only have like 32 people coming and I really didn't want to spend a lot of money on invitations. What we did get from Minted was a sample of their envelope and your dressing that they they do for you and we chose this design and that design also included like the person's name and their address already printed on the envelope because I didn't want to write on them and I really really liked their um, their envelope it was really really nice and they even sent like some extras too with the sample so we'll probably keep these for something else we're just not using these for our wedding so the one that we did end up going with ding 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 girl you got it we ended up going with Zola I chose Zola for multiple reasons. I really like their wedding suite, the one that we chose. I fell in love with it. And I just like the personalization. To me, it had the same personalization as Minted, but it was way cheaper. It was way cheaper, girl. I can show you guys that now as well. One thing too I really, really liked from Zola is that they offered a wedding website. I really, really like that. So we can put our invitation on there as well and our registry and other information for our guests that are coming to Mexico. So I really, really like that. So yeah. So here is our actual invitation and it is actually on natural paper. And if you guys can see, it's a little bit thicker than the other paper that we got from Zazzle that we didn't choose. And it's in the natural paper and I love it. It looks so, so natural, just very beachy, very destination wedding yes. <laughs> and then I also did get a details card added as well. Basically our details card just has the reception information, what part it's gonna be at, what part of the resort it's gonna be in. Um, it has the attire information, semi-formal, and I also put the wedding colors um, palette on here too so that they have like kind of a guideline of kind of like the colors and things that we're trying to go for. And then we also have a for more details C and then our wedding website with Zola. And I love that. They just look so, so good together. 
Um, they're kind of stacked. You guys probably can't see because of my light. I love, love, love the natural paper. It just looks so beachy. It looks perfect for the type of wedding that we're having. So now that I've showed you guys what we chose as our wedding invitation, let me show you some other details that will make your wedding invitations just go to the next level without breaking the bank. Okay, so something that I feel all invitations need to have is the vellum jacket. I think that's how you pronounce it. Vellum, vellum, I'm just gonna say vellum. I think it's vellum. And we got these from Zola as well. They sent us, I don't know how many I got, but they're already, they come flat, but they come like pre-folded a little bit to show you like where to fold. And you'll just stick your invitations in here like so and all of whatever else you have in closure cards, whatever RSVPs, whatever you may put in yours. And you put it in the vellum jacket and it'll look like this. And then to take it up a notch, we also added wax seals, but I did not get my wax seals from any of the websites. I felt like they were a little bit more expensive. So I went to Etsy. The Etsy shop that I got my wax seals from, um, her name is Megan Bruce Designs in like a bag like this but i can link her etsy shop down um, in my description box it was very very fast shipping she's very easy to work with and i just loved the colors that she has and the designs that she had as well so we chose to get a champagne which is one of our wedding colors m to go on the vellum jacket for the invitation so this is kind of how it would look isn't that pretty so 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 pretty and yeah like I said super super fast shipping absolutely um, loved it and we'll link her Etsy shop down below okay and then this is our envelope it's nothing really special right right just a regular envelope we actually did get our friends and family's name printed along with their addresses um, on the envelope Zola did offer that I think Zazzle I don't know if Zazzle offered that but I know minted offers that too um, just in case you don't want to write. I, I don't like my handwriting, so I did not want to write on our invitation. So it's just a really nice option that they give you to pre-print that information on your envelopes for your invites. So we also got an embosser. As you can see, the S and the K. In order to get that little small detail, we did go ahead and get an embosser. Now this was ordered from Zazzle. I just liked their designs, and I'm pretty sure you can get embossers from Etsy or pretty much like any stationary place but we got ours from Zazzle and we chose the option to actually include the actual embosser tool with the order and it was about maybe 40 40 dollars for the whole thing including the design and they actually put the design here and this is what the actual embosser looks like i feel like it just adds that little bit of personalization to your invitations to your envelopes or whatever you want to emboss you can emboss napkins or anything like that it just adds just a little bit more luxury to your invitations or whatever you emboss yeah i feel like that definitely took the invitations to the next level i feel like adding the vellum jacket the wax seal and the emboss envelope chef's kiss and the pre-printed names and addresses so so good it just made my job a lot easier so all i gotta do is just put put the invitation together girl put it in an envelope and to top it off we did get some really nice stamps from usps they just say thank you on them but they're really really nice we wanted our envelopes to have nice stamps not the standard ones so if you want to also add just a little bit more to your envelopes to your wedding invitations definitely order you some nice stamps okay so now that i've showed you guys how we made our invitations look super luxurious and super nice without breaking the bank let me show you just a few more things that i feel like you can personalize and make your day even more special so starting with this, I did get a hanger, shocker there. I did end up getting a hanger that has Mrs. and then my soon to be last name and then our wedding date on it. I feel like this is just a really cute little detail to add to your day just to make it a little bit more special. You can also get grooms hangers, you can get bridesmaids, maid of honor, you can get any hangers and you can put whatever you want on them. I just got mine in the white and I chose to do no bow on mine. 
I will link the Etsy shop that I got this from as well. And they have multiple colors. I did get the silver hook, but you can get rose gold. You can get gold hooks. I think you can get black and super, super, super customizable. So we love that for us. Okay, so next I did make a short on this a while back, but I had to, had to, had to mention the cocktail napkins that I ordered. I think it was like one of the first things I ordered for our wedding because I was like, I fell in love with the design and everything of them. So I got these from Etsy as well. And it came with, I think this is a pack of 150. You can choose the um, amount that you want, but I think 150 for us would have been good. I also got this mini so that I can stash away and keep them here so that I can keep them for her. But yeah, you guys can't see them from here, but I'm gonna do a close up. So this is the actual cocktail napkin. You guys, it just has the, and then our last name, the McCain's, and then it has our wedding date. And I am so in love with these cocktail napkins. They're so cute. And you can change the color too that you want. I just chose to do like the metallic gold because it's just gonna go perfect with our colors of champagne and just creams and really, really nice accent color. And yeah, I just, I love these and I will link her shop down below as well. I also wanted to get another angle on our cocktail napkin because in the video it looks like the color is black or darker, but it's not. It's a metallic gold color. So guys, this is another day. I wanted to show you this. Um, I completely forgot to even add this into the video. So, so yeah, this is our ring box and it just has like the one slit so it'll be my ring my wedding band and then his ring i will link this as well um it's from etsy and it's just a really really pretty box you can get it to say anything um i think you can do like your last name or anything like that or you can get like his and hers ring boxes and you can choose the font too i really like it all right guys so this is a very very short episode i just wanted to share with you our invitations and also some places that we were looking at for invitations as well and just some other things that i got for personalization so yeah if you have gotten your wedding invitations or if you are still struggling to figure out where you want to get them from girls let's just go ahead and start looking at those three places that i told you if you want to do it yourself definitely do that too sis i've seen people do that but i just did not have the patience to do it myself I will be making more videos. So as I get more things and stuff like that, our wedding is almost pretty much in two more months. So, but as I get more things, I will definitely share them with you. Let me know where you guys got your invitations. I will see you babes in the next episode on another Wednesday. Bye loves.